Good morning, folks. We've got a bit of space weather. We'll be taking a look at the solar wind. We'll also have seismicity and weather to discuss, the solar cycle, and a historic solar storm in a new light. Let's start with the last 24 hours on the sun, and we find a continuation of what we saw the last several days. Not much in the way of solar flares, a few minor peripheral filament releases, southern coronal hole continues turning through. We did get a bit of solar wind disturbance, and so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Geomagnetic conditions were slightly elevated, reaching a KP of 4. The solar wind shows an amplification yesterday, which has many of the traditional signs of a minor coronal hole stream, although we weren't really expecting one. The density dropout after initial impact has me wondering if that's the empty, vacuum-like portion of the anti-CME we had been expecting, although that would put it more than 24 hours earlier of an impact than was expected. We'll be watching today to see if another shock wave is visible in the telemetry. NOAA is forecasting the potential for minor geomagnetic storms. Meanwhile, we have several active regions and plasma filaments that we'll have to still be watching. The Earth-facing solar quiet has held strong, and by the way, the next cyclical uptick isn't expected until next month, the 3 and 5.9 month cycle, so keep that in mind. Had a big rumble in Papua this morning, 6.3 struck the low velocity zone, and luckily, this part of the world handles big quakes pretty well. For those who have heard about the severe storm forecast for this week, it's this low pressure cell in the center of the country that will drive those events over the next two to three days. Big hail, strong wind, and tornadoes are likely. We have a forecast for the peak of the solar cycle based on what's happened thus far. Maximum output expected at 185 sunspot number with an error range of 18. That means we could see a lot more activity than we saw at the peak of last cycle if this forecast is correct. Hope not, but time will tell. Lastly, folks, we've got one of the first overseas confirmations of the 1921 solar storm that took out the New York Railroad. Global detections were not in place back then, but old magnetometer data has been reviewed, and they can confirm the massive auroral oval and impact of the 1921 event considered the biggest solar storm since the Carrington event in 1859. By the way, we are due for another superstorm. We greatly appreciate your support. Please check out the links below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.